to uh, Feng Shui. This is science versus, I guess the, not sure what you call it, but let me, let me explain. I had a swollen, actually many of them had growing up. Um, <coughs> when I was growing up, up to let's say in, up to my mid twenties, I had this, this is a scenario. I would be sleeping, and it would be towards the morning. Then, as I'm trying to wake up, and maybe some of you recognize this, as you're trying to wake up, you can't open your eyes, you can't move your body, but you can hear. You can hear what's going on. You can hear sometimes even exactly what the person is saying, people that are awake already. But you can't wake up. You can't move your body. So as a child, my mom thought, oh my god, I know what it is. So she made me wear the silver necklace and gold necklace. And then even like having a knife next to my bed, it didn't work. Um, then, you know, you wear the beads. <laughs> um, now, has I learned later more education that it is probably that your body and your mind is being disconnected. Hmm. So your body is still sleeping. Maybe you had a really tired night, perhaps. But your mind is already awake. You're ready to go, but your body is just <laughs> not doing what you say. <laughs> so um, I haven't figured out what it is, but what my mom did didn't work. Um, but what did work for me is um, there was a mantra that I used to, and probably Chung Lee knows this, that I used to uh, recite. I don't know if it's due to the mantra's power or is it <coughs> that I got more relaxed because I had more confidence in the mantra and I was able to move. I tried it one time and after that one time, it never happened again. Mm -hmm. So call it what you call it, the mantra, the mm. unknown side of the power, or is it just science? Thank you. 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 Thank you.